Welcome to our presentation. Today, we will be delving into the fascinating world of data science and medical imaging. Our focus will be on the comparison of various data augmentation techniques used for training convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, to detect pneumonia from chest X-ray images. This is a critical area of study, as pneumonia is a serious health concern worldwide, and the use of CNNs can greatly assist in early detection and treatment. We will explore different techniques, their effectiveness, and how they can be utilized to improve the accuracy of pneumonia detection. So, let's get started on this exciting journey of discovery. Moving on to the next slide, we delve into the crux of our topic, pneumonia, a grave respiratory infection that poses a significant threat to susceptible groups like children and older adults. It's a major global health concern, causing over 2.5 million deaths yearly, according to the World Health Organization. As we delve deeper into our topic, we encounter a significant challenge in the field of medical imaging applications, the need for large quantities of labeled data for training convolutional neural networks, or CNNs. This process can be time-consuming and expensive, especially when acquiring annotated data is limited. However, a potential solution to this problem lies in the use of data augmentation methods. These methods artificially expand the training dataset by generating new images featuring variations in color, size, and orientations. Data augmentation has been shown to improve the performance and robustness of CNNs in various computer vision tasks, including object recognition, image classification, and segmentation. As we delve deeper into our topic, we turn our attention to the importance of automated diagnosis techniques for pneumonia detection. Pneumonia, a respiratory illness, puts millions of people worldwide at risk. Chest X-ray imaging plays a crucial role in identifying pneumonia in clinical settings. However, decoding these images can be challenging, necessitating the need for reliable and accurate automated diagnosis techniques. Convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, have gained popularity for this purpose. The performance of these CNN models is significantly influenced by the quality of the training data, a topic we will explore in more detail as we progress. As we continue our exploration, we turn our attention to image augmentation techniques for convolutional neural network models. Image augmentation is a powerful deep learning technique that generates new training data through random alterations to original images. This approach enhances the performance of CNN models, especially when training data is limited. Common techniques include random rotation, translation, and flipping. However, more complex methods such as random shear and contrast adjustment have shown promise in medical image analysis. By creating diverse and realistic datasets, image augmentation enhances the accuracy of medical image analysis models, a crucial factor in our quest for efficient pneumonia detection. Now, let's take a closer look at the system we propose for this task. The foundation of our system is a dataset provided by the Guangzhou Women and Children's Medical Center. This dataset comprises 5,863 chest X-ray images in JPEG format, categorized into normal and pneumonia. To ensure a robust evaluation of our model, we divided this dataset into training, testing, and validation sets. Before feeding these images into our model, we pre-process them by resizing and normalization. This step is crucial as it ensures that our model receives data in a consistent format, thereby improving its ability to learn and make accurate predictions. As we delve deeper into our proposed system, we come across the architecture of our convolutional neural networks, or CNNs. These networks are designed for image recognition, making them ideal for our task of detecting pneumonia from chest X-ray images. Our CNN model is composed of multiple layers of neurons, each with specific functions. The convolutional layers, in particular, play a crucial role as they extract features from input images. To ensure faster convergence, we employ the Atom Optimization Algorithm. This combination of architecture and optimization technique forms the backbone of our system. As we move forward in our presentation, let's take a closer look at the image augmentation techniques used in our proposed system. These techniques are essential for expanding the training dataset, thereby improving the performance of our CNN models. We assess three distinct data augmentation methods. Model A employed random cropping, flip, rotation, and color jitter. Model B used rotation, translation, and flip. Lastly, Model C incorporated rotation, flip, shear, and contrast adjustment. 
Each of these models offers unique advantages, and we'll explore their performance in the upcoming slides. As we progress further into our proposed system, let's discuss the training and testing process. The training process was conducted with 10 epochs and a batch size of 10, a setup that balances computational efficiency and model performance. To prevent overfitting, a common issue in machine learning models, we employed early stopping. This technique halts the training process if the model's performance on the validation set doesn't improve after a certain number of epochs. The metric used for early stopping was validation loss. After training, the models were evaluated on the testing set using various metrics, including accuracy, precision, recall, and the ROCUC score. The implementation was carried out using Python 3.8, Keras 24.3, and TensorFlow 23.0, popular tools in the field of machine learning. Now, let's take a look at the results of our first model, Model A. This model was trained using a combination of random cropping, random horizontal flip, random rotation within a range of minus 10 to 10 degrees, and color jitter augmentation techniques. The performance of Model A was quite impressive. It achieved an accuracy of 91.47%, a precision of 91.49%, and a recall of 80.69%. Moreover, the ROCAUC score, which is a comprehensive metric that considers both the true positive rate and the false positive rate, was 0 0.9748. These re Let's now turn our attention to the results obtained from Model B. This model was trained using a combination of random rotation of 5 degrees, translation, and either horizontal or vertical flipping as augmentation techniques. The results were quite impressive. The model achieved an accuracy of 0 0.9164, a precision of 0 0.9726, a recall of 0 0.7824, and an ROCAUC score of 0 0.9962. As we approach the end of our presentation, let's take a look at the results obtained from Model C. This model was trained using a combination of random rotation, horizontal flip, shear, and contrast adjustment augmentation techniques. The results were quite promising, with an accuracy of 0 0.9181, precision of 0 0.9514, recall of 0 0.7964, and ROCUC score of 0 0.9865. As we reach the conclusion of our presentation, let's recap the key points. We've conducted a thorough assessment of three image augmentation methods for training convolutional neural networks. The results have shown enhanced accuracy, precision, recall, and AUC ROC scores, indicating the potential for reliable and effective medical image examination. Among the models, Model B showed the highest recall, Model C excelled in AUC ROC, precision, and accuracy. This underscores the effectiveness of data augmentation in improving CNN's performance in pneumonia detection. However, it's important to consider the target performance metric when selecting augmentation techniques. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to further discussions on this important topic.